my dear, you come first in everything. If you don't call yourself something, people will call you anything. When you put yourself at the top of your list, it enables you to take very good care of yourself. Hello beautiful people, congratulations, we made it to 2022. It is not easy, guys. We bless God for the gift of life. We celebrate Him. We appreciate Him for keeping us alive up to this moment. We appreciate Him for counting us worthy among the living. Guys, it is tough. But we bless God for making us to scale through easily. So, guys, I welcome you officially to 2022. A year of divine greatness, a year of divine opportunities, a year of divine upliftment, a year of many testimonies, a year of many opportunities, a year of flying high like an eagle, a year of fulfilling destiny, a year of promotions, a year of celebration, a year of favor, a year of joy, a year of divine security. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, I appreciate everybody that has been on this platform with me from the inception of this channel. It is not easy, but you've been coming through. You've been supporting me day and night. I don't take you for granted. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being a pillar of support. I want you to support me more this year like never before. I'll keep coming back with beautiful content. I'll keep coming back with amazing content. We'll roll this channel together. God sparing our lives. So guys, I am here with five great tips on how to begin the new year in a better way. But before we go into all that, if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, I am Uluwa Shion, a mom to family from Odo State, Nigeria. If you are new here, guys, you are absolutely welcome. To my returning view subscriber, thank you guys for always coming around and doing all the good stuff. So guys, I am here today to share five amazing tips on how to begin our new year in a better way. We do it for our career. Why not apply a self-review for our personal life? Before we go into all that, guys, if you are coming across this channel for the very first time, I am Uluwa Shion, a mom to family from Odo State, Nigeria. If you are new here, guys, you are absolutely welcome. To my returning view subscriber, Thank you guys for always coming around and doing all the good stuff. So guys, the first tip that I'll be sharing today is do a self-review. It is high time you take a moment and consider how you spent your last year. It is high time you sit, bring back the good memories, bring back the bad memories of everything that transpired in your life, in your family in the last one year. Despite 2021, being a year full of unexpected moments. Hopefully, you are able to sit and accomplish the goals you have set for yourself in the beginning of the year. If so, at this point, personally ask yourself some questions. What you did that went well? What are those things that you did that went well? Ask yourself, what are the things that you need to improve on in the beginning of this new year? Consider the new skills that you have learned. Consider the new relationship you have discovered that has been a bright point in your life in the past one year. Consider those things that have caused you pains. Consider those things that have stressed you up. This is the right time to do away with them. You don't need any negative vibe at this point in your life. Begin your new year with every positivity you may lay your hands on. Begin your new year with every positive energy that is in you. When you do a self-review, it makes you a better person. It gives you a better understanding on the highs and lows in the past one year. And it also set a precedent for the beginning of a greater year, which is 2022. Number two, set new goals. Of course, the beginning of this year, which is this time, is a perfect time to set out amazing goals for yourself. Ensure you set a smart goals that are specific, that are achievable, that are measurable, that are realistic, and at the same time, time-based. When you have those qualities at hand, when you have those qualities at the back of your mind, it makes it easier for you to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself. Number three, put 
put yourself at the top of your list. My dear, you come first in everything. If you don't call yourself something, people will call you anything. When you put yourself at the top of your list, it enables you to take very good care of yourself. When you do that, it makes you a better person. It makes you a better friend. It makes you a better child. It makes you a better mom and dad. Number four, finish task. My dear, nobody deserves to begin the new year with loads of errands to run. Nobody deserves to begin the new year with an uncompleted task. At this point, if you have any, cross it out. Begin your new year on a clean slate. Set out fresh new to-do lists. When you have this at, on your table, when you have this at hand, it makes you feel ready to begin the new year. Number five, clean up. Similarly to setting out new to-do lists, you need to tidy up your space so that you'll be mentally prepared for this new year. When you do this, it can be a deep cleaning or tidying up things here and there. When you do this, I can tell you it comes with great effect. Research has made it known that when you start your year with a tidy space, with a tidy mind, with a tidy thought, with an organized life, it comes with a more positive, most positive emotions like happiness, calmness, satisfaction. And all this you definitely enjoy when you put all those things I've discussed in place. So guys, if you have found this video helpful, informative, and educative, please give it a massive thumbs up. Go ahead to the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about all I've discussed in this video. Until I come your way next time, remain blessed.